Hey everybody, I'm Mr. Hartzer and I want to talk to you about activity 3.1.6. This is open and closed loops and this is for my principles of engineering class. So in this activity we're going to do what's up on the top right of your screen and we're going to oscillate the motor. In this case it's going to be the right motor and I'm going to do it 20 times for 0.5 seconds in each direction. I have a little bit already going on over in the left screen, left side of your screen. And I have initiated an open variable and I'm starting it at zero. So I am um, initializing, initializing, there we go, variable called open, because this is going to be an open loop, and we are setting it to zero. Next thing we have to do is set it so that the loop is going to happen as long as the variable is less than 20. And that's just because we want to do it 20 times. So this here is the start of my loop. This one down here is end of loop. And then I've got to do some stuff in the middle. I have to start motor. And we are using the right motor. I'm going to do half speed, 63 and a half. So I'm starting at one direction. Then I have to wait 0 0.5 seconds. Then I'm going to start the motor, and I'm going to do it in the opposite direction. I don't actually have to stop the motor in the middle. I can just start it and then start it again in a different direction. It's going to change direction. That's all that's going to happen. And at the end of this, I'm going to have to have the open variable um, add 1 to. So I need open equals open plus 1. I can also do that by just saying plus plus. Let's compile this program. No issues. So let's read again what this is going to happen. I have my main task section. I'm starting a variable called open, and I'm setting it equal to 0. I have a loop that's going to happen as long as my variable is less than 20. I start my motor going in one direction. I go the other, or I wait. I go that way for half a second. And then I start my motor in the other direction. I actually need another little wait right here. Forgot about this one. I want it to spin reverse 4.5, then it adds 1 to open and goes back up to the top. Checks to see if I'm still less than 20, and if it is, it goes through this cycle again. Compile that program, download it to the robot. You notice I do have my limit switch already on my robot right here, but I am uh, just kind of pulling it out of the way so that it isn't initiated by our standoff right here. Let's start the program and see what happens. You can see that open is ticking up one by one, and it should do that until we hit 20. All right, we're creeping up to 20, and there it is, and there it stops. So it goes both directions for just 0.5 seconds, and uh, that's it. It's a nice little trick to know that the plus plus adds one to each of those cycles. I use that still in my next video where I kind of show our part two, even though it's not quite labeled as part two. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please click that like button somewhere over there, probably up towards the top in that corner. I'm going to put a link to the next video and you can see the closed loop system. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, click that like button. Have a great day, everybody.